Hi, people. Brini Maxwell here with another Maxwell moment. Now, the last time we talked a little bit about my renovation, I told you what I needed to do in the hallway. Well, I have done some of it. Now, these are plaster and lath walls. Uh, it is an old style of doing things that you are probably familiar with. And uh, the basics are that the studs have uh, strips of lath applied over the surface of them. And then a plasterer comes in and uh, spreads plaster, uh, starting with a very coarse plaster to begin with, that uh, creates what are called keys by uh, going through the lath and expanding behind it. Um, to hold the plaster to the wall and then a finish coat over the surface of that. Now what I have to do in order to add electrical to the walls is I have to channel through the plaster and then apply the electrical to the lath underneath it and then re-plaster over the top of that. So uh, uh, the reason we have to do that instead of doing what you might do with a uh, plasterboard wall or sheetrock wall is because the space behind the lath is much more difficult to navigate than the space behind plasterboard. So we take a little shortcut and channel through and apply to the surface of the lath. Now as you can see I have done it throughout the hallway here. I've been a busy little bee or well perhaps beaver is a better analogy uh, chewing through those plaster walls to get back to that lath. Now I'm going to demonstrate the technique and show you exactly what you need to do should you have uh, plaster and lath walls of your own. So the first thing you're going to do is using a mat knife, <laughs> uh, you're going to score the lines that you've drawn on the wall to indicate where you would like the uh, uh, channel to be. And it's a very simple thing to do. All you need to do is Drag your mat knife along the surface and score through all those old layers of paint. Our next step is to uh, begin to chisel away the plaster. And uh, it's, uh, well, it's a good process to get your aggressions out. <laughs> all we do is uh, set the chisel on our scored line. and pound away. Now as you pound away on the line, you will notice that uh, plaster starts to fall away. And so there we have it. Mm -hmm. Now our next step is to apply our cable. And you see that I'm using a uh, BX cable here. Now, uh, if you are working anywhere other than in New York City or in a more commercial environment, then you will probably be using something called Romex. Romex is a plastic encased cable, whereas BX, what I'm using here, is an armored cable or metal wrapped cable. And here in New York City, that is code. But in most of the rest of the country, they actually prefer Romex. When you actually apply the cable to the wall, you're going to be using something called cable clips. And these are little U-shaped uh, clips with a little screw hole on them. And you just apply that to the lath and it holds the cable in place. Now, the important part uh, uh, about these is that it's going to hold them below the level of the surface of the plaster. So when you plaster over the cable, it will be buried underneath the plaster and won't show through. So that's the process of channeling your walls. You know, it's really very easy. If you're doing it for a, a lot of surface, you're going to want to wear a, uh, a protective mask. And uh, then you're also uh, just going to want to be as targeted as possible. So you have less work uh, when it comes to doing the actual plastering. <laughs> so until next time, I'm Brini Maxwell. Bye now.